So uh, regarding alpha synuclein as a biomarker, there has been uh, tremendous excitement uh, with uh, some recent publications on uh, an assay that has been used already in research for uh, some time now. But there was a recent study uh, by uh, a, a group of researchers that looked at the PPMI uh, um, cohort and, and uh, performed this uh, seed amplification assay. Uh, this, this was performed in CSF samples, uh, so samples that are not as easily accessible as what we would like to, to have. But they showed that indeed this assay uh, has very good specificity in identifying um, uh, positivity for uh, uh, these species of synuclein that have seeding capacity uh, in, in uh, patients versus controls. Uh, this also seems to work in uh, pay, uh, people with RBD, REM sleep behavior uh, disorder, and that's uh, very exciting because it tells us that maybe we can catch the, the disease early or signals of disease early. Now, a limitation of this is that, uh, of course, as uh, uh, we all know, collecting CSF is, uh, is doable, but is not the most pleasant uh, uh, thing to do. So uh, another study, another recent study by a group in Japan and with colleagues in Europe, Europe in, in other countries showed that they can also use a similar type of assay but in, uh, in blood, in, in uh, uh, plasma samples. So they can immunoprecipitate uh, these alpha synuclein species from the blood and then perform a similar type of assay and also they showed, and this was presented uh, uh, here at the Congress already, um, uh, that uh, this may work as well. And so if we can do this assay in blood instead of CSF, that would be uh, a lot easier. So there's a lot of excitement in the field of biomarkers. I think this will be very important uh, for uh, aiding the, the selection of patients for clinical trials and uh, with that uh, eventually also in uh, aiding the efforts of developing novel therapies.